What's going on people, it's your boy Ricardo and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you've been keeping safe out there. It's been a short while, but boy it feels good to be back on the bank. Join me in today's video then at Stour Valley Fishing Complex. Let's crack on with the session. What is going on people? It's your boy Ricardo and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Back on the Bank. Now do you know what, for me personally, it don't feel like I've been away from the lens for too long because I did do a seven part isolation series which I finished up about a week and a half ago. Thank you to everyone that tuned into my channel and watched that content, I hope you enjoyed it. But guess what people, the lockdown has been lifted for us anglers and I can finally get back on the bank. If you've been with me since the beginning, you'll know that I'm at Stour Valley Fishing Complex which is one of the mid Kent fisheries and I thought it made sense for me to come back to the lake that I started this channel on. If you go back to my first video, yes people, my first video on this channel you'll see that I've done a video at this lake and I actually managed to catch a personal best uh, common carp of 25 and a half pound and it still is my current PB so back on the bank finally after two months and I'm the first person here that I'll show you outside right at the front of the gate so I'm buzzing and raring to go I'm gonna crack on and I'm just gonna wait for them to open the gates and uh, we'll catch up soon <laughs> Right, last hour or so, uh, just got into peg one um, on Loggy's Lake. Now this lake is quite busy, as you can imagine. Everyone just come out of lockdown and stuff, so yeah, everyone's cracking on, um, trying to get the best swims that they can. I had a little walk round, but yeah, there was like two or three swims available. Uh, dropped a bucket in number one when I got here first off, um, because last time I come here, uh, there was a fella in here that had a quite a naughty session. He told me a little bit about this swim as well, so I'm actually quite buzzing that I've managed to uh, nab this swim. I'm quite shocked because there's a southwesterly going on. Um, the wind's pumping in here. I've seen three fish crash in this swim already, and no one's in it, so I'm shocked really. So who knows? Maybe a red letter day's on the cards. So I'm here for the next 48 hours. Just gonna chuck a lead out, have a little little lead around for the next 30 minutes, and then put a little bit of bait onto some spots. It's quite hot, it's gonna be a scorcher today as well. I think it's gonna be up in the high 20s. So the plan is to maybe just find some decent spots for this evening, I think, put some bait on them, and then uh, yeah, we'll stick some rigs on them later on. I need to get a little bit of rest to be fair. I've just come back from Plymouth. <clears throat> There's some works going on down there, if you can hear a chainsaw. Yeah, I just got back from Plymouth last night. I was doing my first job since the lockdown. So um, yeah, 500 mile round trip that was. But yeah, I was over there yesterday, flying the drone, doing some work for someone. Um, flew, flew. <laughs> drove back yesterday, um, had a bit of rest, was up at five this morning to get here on time. I was the first at the gate as well, as you see. So yes, it's, it's paid off so far, I just hope that I end up having a couple of fish, that would be the uh, the icing on the cake, should I say. But yeah, let's crack on, I'm going to um, chuck a lead out and I'll catch up with you guys later. Yes people, just checking in been a couple of hours, uh, found some decent spots to fish on later on. I've just been watching the water really for the last couple of hours. I've seen so many fish in my swim, it's mad, but they're all just basking in the sun really at the moment because it's so hot. Just got the signal from a fish actually because a fish just crashed right over one of my spots. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on and get the spot rod ready and uh, put some bait out. I've just finished making some of these as well. So um, in my isolation series video, you would have seen that I tied up some um, blowback rigs 
and they are going to work in conjunction with these IB hook stems so check out IB hooks uh, yeah got some pretty decent end tackle on there so yeah I've got some of these ready to go and then I've also got um, a short little blowback rig here with a small PVA stick and I'm using a yellow wafter as well so yeah I'm going to stick these across the three spots and see how we get on. So yeah, before I do put this bait out, just quickly show you what I'm using. So I've got some um, Krill 15mm um, bottom baits from Casual Carper and you can see that they're quite soft, which is really nice. So the fish can um, pick them up and eat them with ease. Then you've also got some mainline pellets there. They're actually the PVA spod pellet mix. Um, they come in two kilo buckets, but I've just put about a kilo and a half of those pellets in there to mix it up with and then I've got um, a bit of yellow visual so I've just literally added one tin of corn. The reason why I've put in just one tin of corn is so that the fish actually search for just the yellow small bits in and amongst the rest of the bait and uh, hopefully pick up my bottom baits which are going to be yellow. So yeah that's the uh, that's the mix. I'm going to put about probably about a kilo of these um, across the three rods so not loads for the first night and we'll see how we get on and then we can always top it up if we have a fish, so yeah, let's do that. So I'm just checking in, it's half six. Um, I've put two of the rods out. Um, I was playing around with a third rod earlier on because I see quite a lot of fish on the surface. Um, put a few mixes out and stuff. Had a couple of takes on them, but um, yeah, not enough, not enough real activity really to put a rod in um, and do some surface fishing. But I'm gonna try again tomorrow because I think it's gonna be hot again in the morning. So I'm just really preparing my third rod to go out on the bottom for the evening. I've already prepared the spot this morning that I'm gonna put that one on. So um, yeah, it's just a matter of casting it out. Just checking in with you guys that I'm gonna have some dinner. I'm actually feeling quite tired to be fair. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get a bit of sleep, but hopefully um, get awoken to a take or two. So if I don't see you through the night, then I'll see you in the morning. Okay people, so whilst I catch some zeds and hopefully nick a fish or two during the night, I thought this was a great opportunity for me to just plug my brand new carp fishing brand, that being Capture Angling. Now if you haven't checked it out already, head over to your search bar and type in www.captureangling.co.uk and the website has just gone live. This brand is pretty exclusive and I'm hoping that you guys jump on board. So hit the shop now button just there and you'll see that I've just launched the online Line store you've got a couple of bits and pieces already available I've got some product there available for pre-order and then I've got some products coming soon and there's plenty more as well in the background that I haven't even showed you yet so please jump on board get involved capture angling it's not for the faint-hearted but I hope you guys enjoy it let's crack on morning people so it's my second morning on this 48 hour session so I've got another night to go I, yeah woken up a little bit later than I wanted to really it's just gone nine o'clock um, but I was up quite late last night until the early hours there was quite a few alarms going off on the lake 
including mine. But I do have some poor news to announce, and that is that I actually did have a take last night. It was about 2.30 in the morning. My right rod screamed off, which is the rod I've put on a, on a, on a, on a shelf of uh, gravel next to some reeds, just out to my right. Yeah, hooked into the fish. Um, it was coming towards me from the, from the beginning, so I had to take back a lot of line before I um, sort of felt the tension. But yeah, hooked into the fish, fought for about five minutes, but it ended up taking me down into um, some trees to my right, and it just was so difficult to get down. It was pitch black as well, I couldn't see anything, even with a torch on. There's not a lot of natural light on this lake, so yeah, it's very dark here at night. And um, yeah, fish just took me down and around the trees, and then um, it seemed quite bumpy for about a good 30 seconds. I thought, oh, this is gonna be a nightmare. And yeah, to, to confirm, it did end up being a nightmare because I ended up losing the fish. Nothing wrong with the rig at all though. I had a look at it. The hook was still really, really sharp. Like the baits were still on there. Like it was perfectly presented. And uh, yeah, no damage to the hook link whatsoever. So I'm a bit baffled and a bit disheartened to be fair, but we carry on. We've got another 24 hours to put it right. And I do believe I'm gonna have one. So today's approach, um, I'm thinking about moving my right rod, this was the one that I had to take on, about a rod length further than what I had it on, so yesterday I was just sitting on the edge of a gravel bar, um, but I think with the rising temperatures over the last few days I'm going to go up onto the gravel bar this afternoon at least, just put a little bit of bait over the top until this evening, if I don't have anything then I might drop back down on the slope, but yeah that's the idea anyway there. The other two rods I think I'm just going to keep them where they are and just stick to the approach of putting a bit more bait um, every couple of hours. Yeah, and just go from there really. But yeah, I'm confident in the rigs I'm using, I'm confident in the bait I'm using, that's for sure. It's just a matter of when really. So yeah, I'll tune in with you guys a bit later on. Just gonna finish this tea. Um, I've actually run out of bacon as well. I had a nightmare with my dinner last night. Basically, I had some chicken breast in my food bag on top of an ice pack. So I put an ice pack on the bottom just to preserve my stuff. And unfortunately, <laughs> the ice packs worked too well. It kept the chicken frozen. So when I got it out last night, it was still solid. Basically last night, I just boiled up some pasta and some bacon and just mixed the two. It turned out all right. Slashed a little bit of Nando sauce over it, of course I did. And uh, yeah, ended up having a bit of a, a bleak dinner really. But I think tonight, I'm gonna uh, treat myself to a takeaway or I might make some bolognese, I'm not sure yet. But yeah, enough on the food. I'm gonna crack on with this tea. And uh, yeah, sort out that right rod. So people, yes, finally got off the mark. Um, left rod, which was over an overhanging tree. Didn't have a bleep on it all night, but yeah, left it out. It's uh, 10 to 10 at the minute. I was planning on recasting the rods, as I said earlier on. Um, but yeah, left it. And uh, this lovely little common, I say lovely, it's got a couple of, a couple of scars to be fair. Um, yeah took the, uh, the caramel uh, wafter that I've used, first session using wafters as well actually, made up for that fish that I lost last night. The one I lost last night wasn't massive I don't think, but yeah, it's still frustrating when you lose one, do you know what I mean? Especially in snags, but yeah. I'm not gonna weigh this one, but I'd say it's probably about 13 pound, but yeah, really pleased to at least have a fish. Let's flip her over. She's been good for me to be fair, which is nice. Hope I ain't jinxed that, but give it a bit of water. Yeah. I think the fish are, um, there's still a couple of them still spawning, but yeah, this one looks a little bit, a little bit spawned out. But yeah, please, as I say, we'll get this one back and uh, we'll crack on with the rest of the day. Hopefully, we get um, his mum or father.
So yeah, first fish of the Stour Valley um, session. Uh, coming at about 13 pound, it was a little common. Um, pretty scarred up actually, it must have been through a bit of a tough time during spawning and that. But um, yeah, pleased to get off the mart as I said. Uh, the caramel waft has done the business for me, so I've I've switched another one of my rods over to them because they uh, they actually smell quite decent. It's actually boiling again today, I tell you. Cool. I'm going to take this grey top off in a minute because it's just turning wet. It's really getting warm again. It's quarter to twelve now. I haven't had any breakfast today. I had to eat all that bacon last night because of my dinner um, disaster that I told you about. But yeah, I need to sort out some lunch. I'm going to eat the chicken, I think, in some wraps. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But I wanted to show you what happened to my Harry boat. This is how warm it is at the moment. I've um, gone into the bag and unfortunately left them in the sun. Look. Go on then. Just had a beat on my right rod, but I think that might have been something on the surface of the water there. But yeah, look, if you have a look, they've completely melted to uh Let me show you. It's like, I don't even know, that goes into your body, it's mad. That's kind of put me off eating sweets, I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. <laughs> Got a much better lunch, boys and girls. That's for sure. Compared to last night, absolute failure, but this, is a proper piece of artwork. I've got the Uncle Ben's microwave rice, fisherman's favorite. I stuck it in the pan, bit of water, just basically fried it for two minutes. I didn't even know you could do that. I thought it was, they were just microwavable, but yeah, tastes really good. And then I've already eaten one of the wraps, basically just chicken breast and some Nando sauce in there so recharging the batteries with some good lunch and uh, I think I'm gonna take my rods out of the water in a minute um, just go around the other side of the lake for an hour or so just to catch up with a few mates that are here I've had to raise the tips of my rods as well because there's like some really horrible sort of like algae on the top of the water that keeps hitting my um, my rod tips and making me alarms go off so it's quite annoying so I've raised the uh, tips of my rods. So yeah, I'm gonna finish my lunch and I'll speak to you guys probably this evening. Should I have a look? Mate, I'm not even gonna lie, it's worth fucking checking bro how deep that is. No. You must be gassed. Yeah. So yeah, just really quickly, um, I said I was coming around to see one of my mates earlier on. He has just smashed it, 35, four pound common. Unbelievable condition, he's just about to have some water shots. Hi right, mate, congratulations man, that is a cracking fish. Fucking gas got to up there. I ain't gonna lie, I lost an absolute chunk last night, mate. I know, I know, I know, yeah, I know. So to make, to make up for it like that is crucial, but obviously your, your Indian's gonna be cold, but who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, this is why we do it, people. 35-4 Stale Valley Fishing Complex. Check this out. Lovely fish. Absolute cracking. Cracking. That is lovely. You got anything you want to say? Over the moon. Over the moon. Lovely, right? Let me get some pictures, yeah? Yeah, Right, sweet. Evening people, so I'm just checking in. It's the last evening of this 48 hour session at Stour Valley. Um, I've had one fish this morning as I've already um, announced to you earlier on. But uh, yeah, I took my rods out this afternoon because it was another scorcher. And I just wanted to spend a couple of hours with my mates uh, around on the other side of the lake. So I went round there. Um, one of them did actually have a 23 and then tonight it actually went off. And one of my friends um, actually just had a 35 pound four. Uh, common it was absolutely stunning Dean congratulations mate you must be buzzing hopefully I have one of those over the next 12 hours the last 12 hours of this session but yeah just tuning in for the evening
training. I've got my rods on the spots, the traps are set, and I'm feeling confident. Hopefully, I take another one during the night tonight and I don't lose it this time. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Ah, good morning people. So as you can see, I've took my bivvy down. Um, we've come to the end of this 48 hour session at Stour Valley. Um, unfortunately, I have nothing else to report. My rods were motionless last night. And I was quite shocked by that as well because about one o'clock this morning, um, the wind picked up. It's a strong southwesterly at the minute and it's pumping right into this corner. So I thought it would have triggered some fish to have gone down to have fed, but who knows, they might have done it and got away with it. But yeah, at the end of the day, um, great to be back out on the bank after two months. Obviously the isolation period's been killing everyone, myself included. So yeah, it's been really nice to at least get out. Didn't blank, I had a, about a low double uh, yesterday morning. <clears throat> and then on the first night I actually uh, hooked into one but unfortunately lost it under some snags next to me on the right so yeah not a, not a bad trip um, could have had maybe one one or two more we always want more though don't we but sometimes it just don't happen really really chuffed for my mate over the other side though had the 35-4 last night absolutely cracking fish and I was pleased that I was around there to witness that got some cracking footage as well so yeah you hopefully you enjoyed seeing that as well but um, yeah, so just slowly packing away now, uh, going to head home. It's Friday and um, there's people at the gate queuing up to get in. I mean, you can see behind me that someone's already left their bucket there. A um, bit cheeky, but <laughs> it's got to be done sometimes. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please make sure you like, share and subscribe to my channel below. I hope you're enjoying the content I've put out and there will be more videos coming shortly. In the meantime, if you are out fishing, best of luck, tight lines, and make sure you stay safe and maintain that separation distance. I shall see you in the next video. Peace.